Say man, even in a time like this, God is still worthy to be praised. I wish I had about three saved folks in here to understand that even in a time like this, God is still gets the glory. Amen. 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 Let us pray. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus. God, once again, just to fill your humble service, come before you this morning, God, just to say thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. God, thank you for being a God that sits high and looks low, oh God. God, you're the God that sees what we don't see, oh God, and know what we don't know, oh God. But God, we come this morning and ask us for your strength for this thing. God, we ask that you strengthen them where they may be weak, build them up where they may be torn down, oh God. God, remind them that you're too wise to make a mistake. And you're too just to do a sinner wrong, oh God. Oh God, somebody in this point of heart might be heavy, mind may be confused, but God, we know you have a hot fix of this one. Yeah. We know you have a mind regulator. Regulate their mind and fix their heart this morning, oh God. Uh, let them know we too must go this way. And the only way that we'll see you, God, we got to get our house in order. Yeah. We got to get our business fixed up, oh God. Oh God, we ask you to put your loving arms around them right now. Hold them in the midnight hour when they can't call them, oh God. They can call you. Let them know that your phone never too busy. You never out of reach. Strengthen them and be with them, oh God. And it's in your son Jesus' name we pray. All the believers of God say, Amen. Amen. For our Old Testament scripture, we're coming from the book of Psalms, the 90th division. And it says, Lord, thou hast been our dwelling place in all generations. Before the mountains were brought forth, or ever thou hast formed the earth and the world, even from everlasting to everlasting, thou art God. Yeah. Thou turnest man to destruction, and sayest, Return ye children of man, for a thousand years in thy sight are but as yesterday, yeah. when it is past, and as a watch in the night. Thou carries them away, as with a flood, they are as a sleep. In the morning they are like grass which groweth up. In the morning it flourish and groweth up. In the evening it is cut down and withered. Yeah. For we are consumed by thine anger, and by thy wrath we are troubled. Thou hast set our iniquities before thee, our secret sins in the light of thy countenance. For all our days are passed away in thy wrath. We spend our years as a tale that is told. The days of our years are three score years and ten, and if by reason of strength they be four score years, yet is their strength labor and sorrow, for it's soon cut off, and we fly away. Amen. 
And our New Testament scripture will be coming from the book of Revelations. The 21st chapter. Starting at verse 1. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth was passed away. And there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride of dawn for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and God himself shall be with them and be their God. Verse 4, And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, Neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. May God have a blessing to the hearers and the doers of his holy and righteous word, the word of God for the people of God. Amen. Amen. We will follow the program as it's printed. At this time, we will have a solo by David Christian. <laughs> Oh, 
this time the program called for reflection. And we act that you live it for reflection for two minutes. Now I know, you know that no poor friend is hard to say what you're gonna say in two minutes. But I want you to uh, if you got something that's longer than two minutes. Uh -huh. After we leave the cemetery, get with Bosco and Kim and Angie and Irene and all the rest of them, and tell your old long story. Amen. So we'll ask you for two minutes a day. Amen. And then after we leave here, when y'all get to the repast, all we sitting there eating chicken and all that, then that's when you can tell your old story. Amen. So then this time the floor is open for anyone that would like to come and have reflection. suffering that we've been through, just going out here one-on-one, -on -one, the good times, the bad times. He taught me a lot of stuff. He taught me how to be a man, survival. He taught us how to love family. Everyone. 
Because one thing about Fred, somebody got to do the picture. You stop to the store to get beer, I drink anything. <laughs> Fred ain't gonna drink nothing but a 45. <laughs> if you don't 45, he's gonna drink. So when we start traveling the next time, he got it in the cool. <laughs> that's, that's my partner. Oh, <laughs> Give an honor to God. Amen. Amen. You know, I'm God, who's ahead of my life. And my uncle, he, he's a true uncle. He called. He called me all the time, from time to time. How's everybody doing? How's my sister? He says, Thank you. take care of my sister. I said, yeah. He said, you know what? I'm going to come up and take care of myself. I said, you do that. But at the end, I can tell he was getting away. Because I would call him every day. And at Tuesday, I called him and he said, he said, Red Bone, he said, I don't want to talk. I said, Red Bone, you tell him I love him. You tell him I love him. And so he finally get to talk to mama. That's his favorite. I love all my uncles. And they all are very dear to me and they're all close to me. And he, he talked to mom. He said, he said, Lou, I love you. But he he had this thing on his face. And he looked so peaceful and hopeful. You know, sometimes these people lay down there like all oh, out of it. And, but he was hopeful and peaceful. And I said, you know what, God didn't really take him. And through all that, and I didn't realize that he was really that sick, because he was so hopeful. If I get this out of the way, I can do this. And if I can get that done, I can go and do that. And I said, this, this whole one, just have patience. And I just like to say that, I'm gonna listen. Because he always called me from time to time. Let me know how everybody do it in Fort Myers. And I let him know how everybody do it in Charleston. And so we would go back and forth. But he's gonna truly be missed. He's gonna really be missed. And I love you all. Rest in peace. This one, that's my uncle. But sometimes I see him as a father. Because when I pull up on him sometimes, he be over on Palm Avenue. That was like the last time I seen him. And he was like, nephew. I said, what's up, uncle? He said, man, I'm gonna go around this corner and pull this concrete come with him. I said, oh, listen. I got some work to go do myself. You need to come with me. You're like, no, nah, I got to get this foot of pole before it started raining. I said, Uncle, I would help you. Let's call Bosco. He said, shh. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I said, well, I'm going to send you some help, but I can't help you right now. But all in all, though, my uncle taught me a lot. I sit back and watch. He just, he just got integrity. You know, if you don't fool with you, you don't fool with you, period. That's just what it is. That's just what it is. That's how he is. But um, he was a great uncle. He was a good guy. If he's your friend, he's your friend. You know, so with that being said, I'm going to miss my uncle a lot. You know, my aunt, my aunts, my other uncles. You know, it's only only two boys and four girls left. So with that being said, I'm coming up that road. I don't care if I two dollars all the way, I'm coming. <laughs> so I just thank God for this opportunity, this day within itself because he went to a better place. You know, my mom, my dad, they passed away, my aunt passed. But we know that God give God take. So we must continue pressing forward and continue giving God glory through it all. Amen. I 
love y'all.
fields and none of that in my new home. Yeah. Some of y'all, some of y'all, some of y'all don't, don't take the time to do uh, an inventory check. Yeah. Let me just make it, let me paraphrase it, see y'all follow me. You know when those that the bought a house and uh, uh, and you get ready to move in the new house. <laughs> Before you move in, they, you go start picking out front. Yeah. Uh, uh, and you uh, go find and start picking out colors for your house. <laughs> because I don't want to take all things. <laughs> Yeah, but, but why not be those days? Yeah. Yeah. One of the old days. Yeah. I'm gonna be my moving day to my new house. And when you see me down here cry, I'm picking out my colors from my new house. Can I please go ahead and preach out? When you see me giving up my right from my fellow man. I'm picking out my windows uh, from a new house. Uh, when, 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 when you uh, see me down here uh, and I'm being talked about a lot, uh, uh, I'm picking out my furniture uh, from a new house. Uh, I stop by to tell somebody, uh, you better prepare yourself uh, for your new house. Uh, well, well, well. Uh, Jesus, let me preach like I feel. I know post 90, 192, be good to some of us. I know Anderson Avenue was good to some of us. I know, but Mr. B used to be good to some of us. Let me hit some of the old folks. I know flat top used to be good. Some of y'all. Used to hang out 82. Good God Almighty, I'm a young man, but I spent a few days behind books. Y'all ain't said nothing. Y'all ain't said nothing. Well, 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 I'm still young. And they came across none of y'all speak up. Every now and then, when I want to go to the left, I stop by Crabble to the hole in the wall. Y'all still ain't said nothing. I know y'all like salsa stuff, and I know y'all like it. But yeah, y'all, anybody get your house in order? One of these days, you got to leave. You got to leave here. I know, I know, I know. Y'all say Fred like that. This seat 45. But can I talk about it? The other day, Fred left the seat 45. He got a glance of his new house. And he called for me. And when I went out to the hospital, he said, I know you was coming. I just need you to pray with me. And he didn't say, pray for me. I need you to pray with me. He said, I'm tired now. And I believe. Freddie, what you did, got a glimpse of a new house, and when he looked at it, he looked back and said, bye bye Kim, bye bye Bosco, bye bye Darlene, bye bye my family, I'm going to my new house, I heard Prophet say, my house has got a
Well, I see you know your place is three, Pamela. 